I cannot believe that this is all coming to an end. It's been over four years of us working on this tiny home behind us, starting out in what was supposed to be a little shed for us to store our tools, our materials, and then which turned into our tiny home and then evolved into having an off-grid spa and bathroom and sauna. And then it's evolved into all this, building a massive deck, having a glass house with a gym inside, and now, this is gonna be one of our last days working on this home before we build our real house, our permanent house. When I spin around, you could probably see a lot of odd loose ends, little things that still need to be touched up, and all those things are coming, but there's still one major project left to do, and that's right here. That's our stairs and the slide that I'm gonna be building for Sadie. Sadie has no idea that I'm building her a slide. She's gonna be so excited. All right, this is gonna start off in the gravel pit. I'm not gonna use this rock over here. I'm gonna use this mix, this smaller pea gravel and sand. And I'm gonna count 25 shovels full. I got one bag of cement mixed. It's gonna do a little bit less than half of this, so I got it all filled up in the form here and I'm just gonna start scraping across, moving the concrete slowly along, trying to make the top perfect, trying to make it smooth, trying to make it beautiful. I'd say concrete is probably my biggest weakness. I'm not that good at building with concrete, so I'm just gonna try the best I can with this. Yesterday we put together these plates. You can see we kind of just took this rebar and bent them out of 45, so it has something to grab onto when it goes into the concrete. Now I have my marks with that. I'm gonna try to put that. All right, let's get this thing level now. Just needs to come down over here a little bit. Perfect. Perfect. Two challenges right now. Number one, we're in a cloud. We're in a rain cloud right now. It's about to start downpouring any minute, which sucks because I'm halfway done with this and I'm not stopping. I gotta, I'm gonna have to do this in the rain. If the rain ruins the look, it is what it is. Number two, there's a monster. This thing is incredibly poisonous. You don't want to touch it and it is huge. Look at my hand next to it. Look at its spikes on its back. If you touch those, it will hurt. You don't want to touch that. That thing is massive. That's bigger than like, ah! That's twice the size of my finger. Bring you guys inside and just switch over to the GoPro because it's about to start downpouring and I don't want to be worrying about this thing once it starts coming. I want to finish up this concrete as fast as humanly possible. This is going to be exhausting, so I'm going to chug some coffee first. Okay, a little bit of coffee. A little bit of sugar. Is there anything else you need? for a minute and now it's so beautiful. It's hard to see because the exposure, but like the clouds are like below us. Like we're looking down on a rainstorm. I'm gonna take this side now, smooth all this out. I hope I don't need to mix any more concrete. It's gonna be really close.
We don't want to do it for too long because then it'll turn to butter. Chocolate butter. And that doesn't sound good. Ready? I'm ready. A little bit more. Soon, you guys, soon. We're not gonna have to buy heavy whipping cream from the store to make our own mousse and whipped cream and butter. Soon, we'll be getting some milk from our cow moo moo. If you ever wanna try to make your own butter, it is so easy. You don't need one of these fancy smancy, schmancy things. You could just use a blender. This is not necessary. There's just something about the feel of doing it the old fashioned way that just makes it a little bit more satisfying. I love the pickle and she don't like the whole little pickle. Yeah, she didn't like the pickle, huh? <laughs> Are you trying to get some of this? <laughs> She's so funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. That looks amazing. Yeah, I need to add a little bit of maple syrup. This is such an amazing, easy, healthier treat. <laughs> it's basically like a mousse. You love it? Yeah. yeah. Lola, no! <gasps> oh! <laughs> <laughs> we should keep those filbert and syrup. Push it hard. Push it. Oh, and boink. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best job that I could do. It's not perfect, but it's pretty dang good. Tomorrow, the stairs are going up. I couldn't be more excited. I also couldn't be more excited to rest right now. I'm gassed, you guys. I haven't been this tired in a while. Today's actually such a big night. I'm so excited because my stepbrother is on Big Brother. And you guys ever watch the show Big Brother? My mom has watched every single season. She's like a Big Brother super fan, so I would always catch glimpses growing up. And I can't believe my stepbrother Tucker is gonna be on this show. But I got a little bit of a problem. I'm in Panama and Big Brother is on CBS and I I can't watch CBS from Panama. It is blocked in this country. But as you guys know, we use Surfshark. We're sponsored by Surfshark. This video is sponsored by Surfshark. And I wanna show you how it works. All I have to do is pull up Surfshark right here and just connect to a server in the United States. I'm gonna be connecting to Ashburn. And now you see, every website thinks I'm in the United States of America. The show's loading right now. I can't tell you guys how often I use Surfshark with all the travel we do. Being here in Panama, I use it every single day. There he is. <laughs> this is crazy. This is some good old drama TV. <laughs> and my stepbrother's in the middle of it. This is great. This is way too much fun right now. And I'm so grateful for Surfshark for making this possible because without it, there's no way we'd be able to watch it. And for any of you guys that are gonna be traveling at all this year, I highly recommend you download Surfshark because you can do what I did and connect to a server in the United States. And you don't have to worry about not being able to access your bank account, your favorite shows. By using Surfshark, not only can you prevent from any of that stuff from happening, but you also keep yourself in all of your private and personal information safe. So any hackers in any other countries, they won't be able to get your personal information. Oh, this might be the funniest show I've ever watched. That's my stepbrother. I'm, I mean, we've gone on vacation together dozens of times. I knew him since he was in middle school. Well, that whole fiasco just ended. Thank you so much to Surfshark for allowing us to watch that madness. I can't believe that we're gonna be watching that for as long as Tucker is on it. I mean, I'm gonna support my stepbrother all the way, you know? And any of you guys that like watching Big Brother out there, leave it in the comments below. So for any of you guys out there that are doing any traveling this summer, I can't recommend Surfshark enough. Just download it, have it on your phone. It's such an amazing and convenient tool and just let it run in the background. It'll keep all your personal and private information safe. And if you don't have it already, you can sign up now, use our code down in the description, The Nomadic, and you'll get four extra months for free. Here's a tip. If you're gonna do a concrete pour with six dogs on your farm, build a fence. <laughs> this thing's covered in dog prints. <laughs>
<laughs> it's okay Honey, though. I think we just embrace it. I kind of like it. It, it does kind of look kind of cool. Yeah. We're going to start the day off with a little bit of a metal fabrication. So right now, these are two eight inch metal C, kind of like C channels, and we're welding two of them together to make what they call here a caballo. This is going to be the main supports of both the stairs and the slide. You want to tell these people how long it's taken me to build stairs in the past? <sighs> we don't have to tell them, honey. We don't, we don't have to, we don't have to go there. Yeah, I think each of the staircases up there took me a week. <laughs> and this one, I'm going to try to do it in a day. Let's take this string and we know it's going to go, this is going to be the center. So we'll go here and we'll tie this around. Walk up with your dad, though. Well, maybe. maybe, maybe, maybe he. <laughs> this is where we do our final send off, you know, at the bottom of the stairs with my dad. And then maybe I walk up first and then he walks up behind me. That's, that's what we do. <laughs> For those of you guys wondering what the heck we're talking about, it is my absolute dream to have our ceremony, not our whole wedding, we already have a place for our reception for the wedding, but to have our ceremony here on our land. It's not a reception, it's called an after party. <laughs> yeah, the wedding and then the after party. That's what Jordan's been calling it. He's like, there's the wedding and then there's the after party. <laughs> but it's my absolute uh, dream. We might need to build like a temporary extension of the deck for our wedding, sweetie. What? Honey, that was your idea. We got standing. You literally just said that to me yesterday, so don't even pretend that wasn't your idea. No, this is what I said. We got standing room only, you know, around here. This is where we put the not so important people. <laughs> <laughs> is that how it works? And then we put you our know, first come first serve. Whoever gets up here first gets seats. Whoever gets here last, you can stand on the ground down here. <laughs> This is going to be stairs. So we'll have stairs, and then this will be where the slide is. Walk up the stairs and go on And then go down the slide. Okay. We're right in the center, right? There's something about a woman that can weld that's hard to explain. It's hard to explain. What is that even supposed to mean? <laughs> It means that I love you, sweetie. Aww. <laughs> so Iberto and Enrique have been a big part in helping us build this gym here. And now that it's fully done, he wants to give it, he wants to have at it. I don't think he's ever used like an actual like machine like this, like a squat rack or anything like that. Si, super bien. Si, y. Roberto's crushing it right now. I'm pretty sure like this is the first time he's ever done squats with any type of weight like this. And he said, he's like, he's really strong in his upper body, but he really wants to strengthen his lower body because he plays soccer. So he's doing amazing right now. We told him, anytime, anytime, bro, you want to use this. You just have to be very careful with the glass. <laughs> we just got a pretty strong downpour, so I ran inside to hide. And now in the meantime, I'm going to try to get these stairs done before the next rainstorm comes in. There's going to be 14 steps walking up here, believe it or not. And all I'm going to do is take a 12-inch piece of Cariola and run it across these two beams, weld it into place, and call it a day. This is the one time that I think building a stairs out of metal is easier than building it out of wood. So I'm taking this piece one by four and I cut this to the distance is that's the separation of our stairs. And I'm just running a line across here 
and this is gonna mark where each of the treads needs to go. And why I like using a stick rather than a, a tape measure is if a tape measure you get off once, you're off basically for the whole way. And with this, it's just like guaranteed that you're gonna get it right. We got three out of eight, you guys. Almost there. I could have honestly gotten this all done today, but hold on, let me just take, this is so uncomfortable. I had to redo all the math a couple of times for these stairs, and we, we finally got it. The, the tread height was way too narrow, but this is perfect. So Kaylee can walk up this in her wedding dress. It's, you know, it's kind of the thing that's going through the back of my mind. No pressure, but the pressure's definitely on for tomorrow. Cause I gotta build a slide for my daughter. And this is where we're at. It's gonna be an early one tomorrow. I'm setting my alarm early, I'm getting after it. I'm getting this thing done. I wanna get it done. I wanna get these things done for my girls. And I'm gonna do everything I can to get it done tomorrow. We're starting bright and early this morning. It already feels like the rain is coming, so we're trying to get as much done as we possibly can before that comes. And today is Smoothie Bowl Sunday. It's not Sunday, it's Friday actually, but. Oh. We got some extra muscle for a few hours this morning. Enrique and Iberto on Fridays, they only work four hours. So I got Enrique on the welder. He's just gonna be welding in these stairs one after the other. We have five more left to put in. <laughs> in the meantime, Iberto and I are gonna start working on the slide. And we're gonna custom fabricate the slide. And there's two important things to me. Number one, is that it's awesome. And number two, that it's safe. And when you have metal and you have welds, you have the potential for these little sharp things sticking up and you don't wanna be sliding down that. So I'm gonna be super careful building this one. So to be honest, I was a little dumbfounded on how this was gonna work, on how Jordan was going to bend this metal and have it be like a one whole like cohesive piece. And as he's working here, as he's, as he's doing his thing, and I'm starting to pick up on what he's doing. I'm like, all right, I finally get it. I, this is this is gonna work. Sweetie, I've cut one piece of metal and you have a lot of confidence in me all of a sudden. I know, but I had like absolutely no <laughs> clue how it was gonna work, but now I kind of kind of finally understand it. The name of the game, there's gonna be five of these pieces right here, all next to one another that we're gonna have to weld together. As long as we get this first one nailed, then we basically just have to replicate the next four pieces and then weld them all together. Honey, she bendy. Wow, sweetie. <laughs> that is that is a bendy girl right there. A bendy girl. I mean, that came out wrong. <laughs> slide you guys I mean it's short it's not like super super tall and now that we have a nice gradual booty bump on the bottom so. we're gonna be good to go so beautiful. Yeah. we're flying right now and the rain's just starting to come in and starting to drizzle right now we're in a rain cloud and I'm bumming because it's only 10 a.m. This is so early. This reminds me of like the months that we like to try to get out of here, like May, September, October. When it just comes, starts raining at 10 or 11, it rains all day. I'm hoping this up today because I really want to get this all done so bad. This right here, you guys, this is my love language. That's all it takes, huh? Woo, honey! Look at that. Hmm. Like marshmallows. Moo Moo is officially a free-ranging an animal here on Lola's farm just like our chickens and uh, honestly I kind of love it because she's so friendly she's so sweet there is just piles of cow poop 
everywhere. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's coming, you guys. It's coming quick. There's big thunderstorms all around us right now. And it's just starting to rain and we'll be getting two to three inches an hour and 30 seconds from now, it's gonna be downpouring. Here it comes. It's been raining all day and all night. It just stopped now and it's 11 o'clock. There's something inside me as sick as it sounds that wants to try to finish this slide. I've just been thinking about it. It's killing me right now. I wanted to get this slide done. I wanted to surprise Sadie so bad, but I'm calling it here, you guys. I'm gonna pick this thing up bright and early, get this slide done, and get Sadie on here having a blast. So thank you guys for following along, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>